Hi, my name is Don, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to test for waterborne coliforms. Uh, so what you're going to need for this project is Coloscan Easy Gel, a pre-treated Petri dish, and a dropper marked with milliliters. The first step is to collect water from a natural source, such as this creek. Next, place 1 to 5 milliliters of water into a graduated cylinder. Then mix the water with the Easy Gel. Shake the bottle for 30 seconds. After shaking, pour the contents of the bottle into a Petri dish. Place the Petri dish into the incubator for 24 hours. Set the temperature for 35 degrees centigrade. First, count the number of colonies in the Petri dish. Purple indicates E. coli. Other coliforms grow as blue and red. White colonies are salmonella, and non-coliforms grow as teal or green. Next, divide the number of milliliters of water you used by 100. Multiply your answer by the count in the plate. Your answer will be the average number of coliform cells per 100 milliliters. This is an example of an equation that you could perform. If the number of purple E. coli colonies was 26, and the number of coliform colonies was 31, if you collected 2 milliliters of water, then you would divide 100 by 2, getting 50. When you multiply this by the amount of coliforms in your dish, you would have the average of 153 cells per 100 milliliters of water in the source that you collected it from. Thanks for watching.